Hello, wonderful bridge people. Uh, I thought I'd do something a little different today. Uh, about a month or two ago, I brushed up with some bridge master problems. Um, you know, I recommend doing these every once in a while. If you do them too much, you're going to start to see ghosts because bridge master makes it such that all your problems are, are difficult, but also like the lie of the cards is going to make it harder, right? So you have to look for safety plays and you know, just ways of thinking you're normally not going to consider when you're playing match points specifically, where you need, need to be optimistic. Um, so uh, if you want to practice this, you go to practice. Sorry, I was in the wrong tab. And you click on Bridge Master. This is an awesome way to practice your declare play. Um, as you see, I've played a lot of these problems. So a lot of them, I guess I've got, I don't know, a few that maybe I messed up, but for the most part, I've, I've completed them all at some point. Now it's just a matter of sort of recollecting the theme. So that's what I'm going to try to do, like find the theme. Some of these I might even have memorized. Um, maybe let's start in a set that I struggled with. Uh, these Bs don't look super great. So let's let's start from uh, B1, expert um, level. All right, so B1, expert level, and I'm in seven no trump. OK off the races so yeah what's the problem in this seven no so i i think i remember this one but you know approach all these problems like you would a normal bridge problem okay so i've got one two three four five six seven eight top tricks of course i'm gonna use my clubs now what's the issue in the club suit well the issue is i'm blocked what is king of clubs my nine of clubs blocks the suit and i don't have enough tricks so therefore i have to take the finesse if the queen falls uh, and won. That's all well and good, right? You know, I'm I'm solid. But the person with the queen is most likely to have the person with two is most likely to have the queen, right? So here, when I have the ten clubs, they have three. Most likely, um, they're going to split two one, and specifically, I need the person with three to have the queen. Now, I can also, if the person with three has the queen with the west hand. I can still make it, right? Um, well, I could play the I play the jack, the duck, I play the ten to feed the queen. Ooh, so that's not gonna not gonna quite work. So I have to hope for a specific holding here. So we don't even really need to mess about. But I'll just I'll run the jack here. And normally you would never do this. You know, I could lost to the simpleton king, king of queen. Jeez, can't speak today. And I'll just run my clubs, and I'd have a diamond. So I've already played this deal. Basically, uh, I've got, yeah, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tricks. So I'll just go on to the next one. Let's just, let's try to get through 10. That's like a good set, you know. Think of it like a workout. So um, normal two-heart bid, four hearts. The opponents did not lead, did not play. All right, so what's the issue on this hand? So this is what, this is a good way to think. Like, the, the contract looks... I mean, relatively easy in a way, because like I could lose, it looks like I lose a heart. I could lose a heart. Um, well, I could lose a heart, two diamonds, and a club, which is definitely what I don't want to happen on this hand. Now, is there any way for me to get around that? Well, if the I could pick up uh, one, two. I really need to limit my heart losers. That's the key to this hand. Now, how can I do that? Well, this is a this is a funny puzzle. So if if the I need the king of hearts on side, and if the king of hearts is on side, then I could make whenever the person with the king has two when they have three. Um, but can I do it if they they have four? So I could finesse, get back up. I could finesse. And then I can't do anything. So imagine them having four. There is a way for me to try a, a, a trump coup, basically, um, or an in play. Um, so this is funny. So I think the key to this hand is that they want you to uh, trump a spade right away, which is really funny, right? You wouldn't normally consider this. And now I'm going to play a club over, which seems my, say, my safest sort of bet. And now when I play this, great. I play. I need to play a trump, right? It works 
awesome. I'm going to travel back over with the ace. Okay. I'm going to play this. And now when I get the bad news, okay, I knew I was getting the bad news because everything bridge master you get bad news about. At this point, they have king and one of hearts. So I can imagine that. So the, the way, what I need to do now is if I score the king of clubs and I and I get, I need to plan on scoring three hearts and a king of, and a club. So what I can do here is play a club over, trump a heart, and then exit and wait for my ace, ace jack to be good. So this is a really neat problem. I mean, you know, it it, it seems counterintuitive if they rough a spade at trick two, but this is what bridge master trains you to do. It trains you to think, well, you know, what do I need? And then also, well, what do I need plus one you know it's like that that old chess adage you know like look for a good move and then, and then look for a better one because i had a good move my good move was to finesse the hearts but i could have just given myself this little extra chance and and really no other risk so notice here when i exit now all of a sudden they can take their tricks but they're going to have to play into me so effectively east is like trump coup or in in play on this hand which is really cool take my ace of hearts so cool so that one's a really neat one i have to say i've you can probably tell i've played these a few times um especially these expert problems the world class ones seem so esoteric but i feel like at least with these like there's some themes that'll that'll pop up again and again all right so what do i need on this hand well first of all uh let's count tricks so i have four hearts i have um, I could possibly have like, so this is interesting. So I have four hearts. Um, I hope I could, if the king of spades is outside, I could maybe win four, uh, four spades. And then I'm definitely going to have a club by force. Now, what's the bad thing that happening on this hand? Like them winning three clubs and two diamonds, right? Like, I mean, if the spade finesse is off, then then that could just be bad. Now this five of clubs is interesting. So what am I hoping for in this hand? Now, normally, of course, you just play small. I mean, you could hope that East has the ace queen of clubs, fine. But when they lead the four here, I have the three and the two. It looks like this is from four or from five. And they're, they have played the East. The East has played the ace. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so. The, the trick here, and I kind of remember this one too, is to play the king of clubs. Because I want entry. I need two entries to the north hand to finesse spades three times. Okay? I can only finesse twice if I have one entry. And, I need to, and I'm, I'm basically just playing specifically for making four spade tricks, four hard tricks, and a club trick here. Yeah, so this is a neat one. I, you know... It, it were, it's beautiful, right? When when you know now that that hearts were five two, and that you know you have the extra entry in the heart suit. So we just need the king of spades to be on side. We have to play for something to be right. If it's wrong, then we're dead. We're really dead here. But look at this now. It's even it's even based on odds now because West has five clubs. East is more likely to have spade length. I have the entry, right? I can set up that extra entry. So now even when the spades are four two or even five one i'm able to make it right so this is beautiful i have three heart tricks and i have a spade trick for making three uh, love this one so just for the sake of time let's go to the next deal all right before the two losers here i have a potential club hmm so i have seven eight nine tricks now what bad thing uh can happen to me well let's let's check out the, the bidding again nobody's bid and they have a nine card spades bit okay this is really funny yeah maybe we just box them out so it seems like east has the ace king of spades So, um, 
this is an imp problem, right? I mean, normally I have tons of entries. I mean, just tons. Uh, don't need to in worry about my entry situation. I can always even, you know, just go out of my way to unblock things and even have entries and I've got just tons of them. Um, what I need to guard against here is like a bad diamond break. Um, and, you know, if, if the diamonds break 5-1, all right, that's what I'm, if, if they're big 4-2, I always have a, a club pitch. But if they break 5-1, I might want to try some kind of uh, safety play, right? So the, the idea here is what can I guard against? What's the worst holding for me in this hand? It's like whenever East has the, you know, singleton king. I mean, if West has singleton king or singleton jack, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, everything kind of eventually sets up. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of unblock. So they split, so first of all. And now the the safest way to play the suit is to actually bang down the ace of diamonds, right? So I can bang down the ace of diamonds. Once that works, uh, I've got I've got decent chances. So the only thing that can hurt me now is if West um, well actually that doesn't even hurt me. So if West has the king jack, I'm fine. It's only bad if East has the king jack. So I'm gonna play over here. I'm gonna play a diamond. Okay, so this might on the surface seem bad, but look, they have the king jack. Now, when they play a club, I can do the roughing finesse. So this is just a little like, just making sure that even if things were horrible, I was able to trump, and I just made sure I had entries to the north hand, so I can play over now, and then play the ten of diamonds. So this is why counting your tricks is so important. You know, you can see I'm like golden on this hand if diamonds are four two, if they're five one, right, or if if they're six zero, even if they're six zero, I have, I have, and and east has uh, six of them, I have a I have some an out. Um, so yeah, I've had the last three, I have three heart tricks. So this one is making, now I will say when you play these, especially if you're just used to getting used to this format, it is a nice little bonus to just, even if you have it made, play it out, right? You get the little star. Yes. Good. Okay. That'll encourage you because these are tricky, it's tricky problems. Yeah. It's amazing. I guess I've just. Most of these I've memorized, but that one I had to think through. Honestly, I didn't rem I didn't remember that one. All right, twelve. So I have a, a heart loser. Um, yeah, so let's look back at the bidding. Just want to make sure. Okay, so I've definitely got six spades, two diamonds, and a club. It's nine. Now, what's the worst thing could happen for me on this hand? I I could lose like two clubs, a diamond, and a heart. I guess. Two clubs of diamond and heart would be scary. So what are they gonna do now? Switch to a, okay. They play spade. So what can I do? What can I do to guard against everything being bad for me? So if, if one of the club honors is right, I'm, I'm golden. Now, is there any way to make it if, if both of the clubs are offside here? Hmm. I need both clubs to be off and the queen of diamonds to be offside. So is there a way I could just like eliminate diamonds basically?
So that's that's the idea here, I think. Is Sorry, I, I went deep with that one. So I'm just thinking if, if, there's, if there's a way that, a, such a way that I can play diamonds where they um, don't have a recourse, basically. So if I play, if I draw trumps, play a diamond, if I draw trumps, and then play a diamond to the ace, okay? Um, so play a diamond here to the, to the ace, so queen, so we take the ace, diamonds, draw trumps, play one. Yeah, so this one's tricky, this one's tricky. I'm trying to, trying to imagine the route here. I'm honestly not seeing it super well. I mean, I see lots of layouts where I make. I'm just trying to think of like what's the one, what's the 100% line here? So like five, six, seven, eight, nine for sure. Like I can always just set up a diamond for nine. The, the risk here is that I end up losing two clubs, a diamond, and a heart. So what's kind of cool is... Like, I could just play... So ace of spades here, I gotta just try something. I have limited injuries. So I'm just gonna do elimination, right? So now they're eliminated. And when I play the diamond, Now, at this point, oops, sorry about that. So at this point, if if West, the only way, okay, so I'm gonna play the king now. Because if East has queen third, they're gonna win, right? If West has queen third, they have to play a club. And then they go back to me. If West would have queen and one, that's all well and good. Now, when I play the diamond here, West wins, okay? Now at this point, they're in play. because They're split 3-3. Three, three. And if they were 4-2, they play a club, whatever. I duck, East is in play. But at this point, I'm good to go. So yeah, just rough and discard and we make. So that one's always, <laughs> I don't I never remember the solution obviously, but that one's always tough for me. It's always like counterintuitive, but I use good technique, right? I lead, lead to both honors. And then I sort of got myself in a position where I could imagine it. I know sometimes I have a, I have trouble seeing the whole hand right from the beginning. Sometimes the hands just flash at me and I can see the whole hand. But that's one where I try to think, okay, well, I know I need to be in the north hand, right? I need to be leading toward my diamonds at a critical point, you know, and then sort of maybe the in position or what I'm playing for will pop out. So that one's cool. That's a very cool one. Um, and again, you know, play it out for fun. You, we have the rest though, right? Um, all good. All right, next deal. But yeah, those those hands were in place possible. Take your time till you see it. It's, it's hard to do that work. All right. So yeah, this one's this one's interesting. So this one we have to be really careful with. We have to preserve our um, threats and ability to make tricks. So let's just make sure we don't have 13 tricks, right? I could be doing some thinking without it mattering. So three spades, three hearts, it's nine, um, six, sorry, the six plus my four clubs is 10 plus two diamonds is 12. So I can make it if, if spades split three, two. Uh, that's the easiest way. 
Alternatively, there could be a spade diamond squeeze. So if someone has four diamonds and they have four spades, when I run my minor suit cards, they're going to have a really difficult time keeping everything intact. So how can I put pressure on them? What can I do? So this is a matter of envisioning, all right, so if I do this, that'll be, you know, that'll be tricky or harmful in this way. So I think what I want to do is um, keep the spade threat in the south hand, keep one of my baby spades in the south hand, and keep the diamond threat in the north hand, and then in the imposition have the clubs to play. So... Now it's just a matter of caching tricks in the right order and getting everything kind of figured out. Now I'm just kind of unblocking because like if the spade split, I'm, I'm golden. I have nothing to worry about. So let's go ahead and play those spades. All right, will they split? No, of course not. Now when I play the heart here, right? So all of a sudden, we're starting to see a little bit of pressure. So West has five hearts. Okay. So I'm going to pitch a diamond. Okay. Now, okay, so they play that. Now I'm just going to cash this to get my queen of spades out of the way. This is an important idea here. Okay, so five, okay, so we have a two, so West has like four spades, two hearts, and if they have three clubs and two diamonds, they can't hold on to them. Three, three clubs and four diamonds, they can't hold on to everything. So as I cash my clubs, watch what happens here. So we've already played one, right? And they, so they pitched, I think they're, I think they're out at this point. So I pitch my spade, right? So that's one diamond from them. We know they have a spade left, okay? And at this point, three diamonds. So three diamonds is about to be squeezed. So if they play a spade, I cash my spade. They play a diamond here. Now I play my diamond over. And it's just, it's, it's lights out. So this one requires some squeeze play technique. And just recognizing that my baby spades in the south hand have immense value. Um, yeah, so this is, this is absolutely awesome. All right, so next deal. All right, so a 15 count here. Let's just do like two more. I think this is about, these are pretty exhausting and, and uh, you know, to get, get the most out of them, I think it's, it's good to take your time. Just double checking, there wasn't any bit of, so hopefully I can take seven spades, one heart is eight, a club is nine and three diamonds. So what could go wrong? Well, of course, what could go wrong is the spade suit could go awry um, yeah so how can I recover so that's the question of course you can't finesse you know this this spade I don't think yeah that would have been insane so how can we deal with this spade suit well I need to get back to the east hand okay now the the way I do it I see the problem right away if I play diamond to the queen, I've blocked the suit. If I play, if I hook the diamond, it's a little too rich. So what we can do is we can combine things. So play the king to the ace, and now we can finesse, right? So we know we ha don't have that spade loser. So we have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tricks here. So there really isn't a squeeze available, but you know, just as a matter of technique, what you can do here, and it's just annoying to the opponents, right? What you can do here is you can pitch some things, you know, whatever, and maybe they'll make a mistake, but 
the name of the game here is let's let's hope that the jack of diamonds does not suck oh bingo and you know i could have you know if, if they were splitting a certain way i could make more but so that's a cool one that's just a way of unblocking the suit that's kind of a play i learned from eric rodwell uh, in his book the rodwell files so i created the extra entry by overtaking and uh yeah but you know it, it worked. Looks like a charm. All right. So six no. What can we do? All right. So we want to. We have four, five, six, seven, eight tricks. We need to develop four more. Now they're gonna have to be from the clubs. So really, you know, I'm definitely not gonna duck. If I duck, I'll just give them two tricks right away. So I have to go after my clubs. Now, what am I hoping for? The best best thing I hope for on a hand like this is the ace of clubs is on side. If you play if you play a club to the king, for the it could, they could have ace jack third, they could have um, ace third, ace fourth, right, would be great because then the jack would fall right now. And, and so uh, I just need to maintain my entry to the north hand, okay? Don't open up the heart suit, first thing you can do. Now, what is more likely, right? Right. If they have, if they have ace jack fourth, nothing I do. Ace fourth, we would have found out. Ace third um, is really the, the hand in question. You know, and they had, if they had ace jack third, the jack would pop, or the ace would have popped now. So what we do is we play the queen. Okay, so we kind of just go through the whole things. I don't really know why that's an expert problem. I don't consider that one too hard. Maybe some people would finesse the jack there. Um, but yeah, the jack's a bad play. I mean, it's, it's, it's only gaining whenever uh, West has ace, ace, jack, fourth. And that's, that's the one kind of holding. All righty. So there are eight problems there. Um, hopefully, you know, this will help you think about bridge master problems, but the, definitely the best way to do it, right, is to count your tricks, count your winners, okay? Losers, don't worry about that so much, especially when you're playing these bridge master problems. Practice counting winners. Think about what could go wrong and then how you can overcome it. Um, and take your time with it. You know, that one problem I was just puzzling through and puzzling through. And then it came to me eventually. Um, hopefully this was helpful. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have an awesome, awesome day. And happy bridge. Bye-bye.